Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. Uh, <clears throat> I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... PSM First Meter Kier at your service. And I think this song basically sums up the the relationship <laughs> between uh, Kat or Catherine and uh, Johnny quite well, huh? Yeah. They're, they're like water and oil. Yet they Indeed. make it work somehow, or they do love each other. They, they're working to make it work. Yeah. The you know what started just as you started your intro? Mm -hmm. What? The bloody siren. <laughs> okay. Oh, that. The, the um, one that goes on, what was it, like once a month or something? Uh, we have that on the first Monday of a week at uh, exactly noon. <laughs> so for you, it's like 3 yeah, p.m. that it goes off. Apparently, for, it's, it's, sometimes it's earlier. Okay. But just the bloody timing. <laughs> okay. I, I, um, I, yeah, the mic is not picking it up. Good, good. Okay. Yeah, I would have said it if it did. Uh, yeah, last time we started on this game and a lot happened to summarize. But basically, this story is about... Yeah... Uh, a man and a woman and their daughter trying to make their resolution, you know, their <clears throat> their relationship work despite, yeah, <laughs> personal and uh, financial difficulties. And then the mafia and an illusionist comes uh, into play as well. And yeah, we are stuck in some sort of in between dimension. Let's see. Meet Didi at the stage. There, ah, there. What do I do with you? Lock you up? Put bars on the windows? I can't stay at home all night and watch you. I know. I'm not one of those secretaries who punch out at five. I'm a rising star, right? Did Johnny know about this? Because I'm going to kill him. I just wanted to talk to Vincenzo. I never should have let him back. I just need... Just wanted... And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Vincenzo's <laughs> Theater of the Unreal! I knew it. I knew this was another one of Johnny's pipe dreams. You screwed up again, didn't you? Johnny, what's going on? Is this part of the show? I got it. I got it. They're getting antsy. They're gonna want their money back. If you give them their money back, you can't pay us. It's all under control. I just gotta go find a spare ball. Fuse. Something. Why can't he get anything right? We're gonna have to fix this one, too. Yeah. We need to he... light up the stage somehow. He's trying, but he keeps screwing up. Uh, let's see. Get to the yeah, do... Ah, there. I don't know if it's him doing the screwing up, or always uh, something might be him. But I do wonder... What, what... Is that he gets bad help, or... 
he's doing something wrong. I just don't know what. This is a weird lighthouse. Do you think it's some kind of science lab? It reminds me of Vincenzo's workshop. Hmm. I think this is what lights up the lights up there. Let me see if I can fix it. Okay. And now we just phase through. There we go, because we can pass through the shadows. And let's see. Now, I, I described Johnny as basically Donald Duck without deep temper. <laughs> he keeps trying, and he keeps having terrible luck. But he does keep going. Yeah, I guess that would be easy explanation. He has a bizarre case of bad luck. In some case, I guess he would be have a bit of a underestimating how tricky some things are and such, but it does just feel like just extreme bad luck. Yeah. Okay, we need something to weigh that down. So, As I guess we should also add uh, unwise decisions. Yeah, like getting money from the Mafia. Uh, up, wait. Okay, I see. I completely overlooked this box. Come on. it's go It locks onto that immediately after connecting. Uh, we need to get across with that box. But we can't jump whilst we have one, or whilst we're holding it. So, actually... Will it stay in the spotlight like this? And we're not staying in the spotlight because we're jumping down into the abyss. Oh, bloody heck. Uh, it's there. Okay. That, that, is, that is nice. And let's see. There we go. Okay. The mechanics of this game are a bit simple and at times a bit tricky, but they are also just very nice. Oh, yeah. you. The, once you get used to thinking a little bit but I need different patterns, as this is not your traditional puzzle game, so to speak. Yeah. Okay, okay you should uh, be comes, able to that, but can't. Yeah, it comes a little bit easier, but it's still... They still do prove something you don't expect. Hmm. Okay, what is making that noise? Is that thing. There we go, and... Back to another spotlight. Okay. I'm guessing we're going to need to put that. I see it. Yeah, there's a. <clears throat> there it is. Okay. And we can't break through that. Okay. Big ass compass on the floor as well. And I guess it would make sense with a lighthouse. Okay. I am pretty sure that we are close to the ending of the game. Uh, I think we can still get an hour of it out of it or so, but I have a backup game installed for if we uh, <clears throat> do... Well, we are going to run short very likely anyways. Let's see. Picture of a girl's shadow behind a woman walking down the sidewalk. And yeah, no girl, but then again... Oh, there, there's this... Oh, no... Uh, okay, so we are getting all of these out of order. Yeah. There's a shadow yeah. here, but yeah, no person. Yeah, and the dress looks like... What's going on? Is that supposed to be Young Dawn or Dee Dee? Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here with this place and these light mechanics. This looks a bit more advanced than the 1920s should have. Let's see. There's another collectible over there. Yeah. Th what? 
I saw the signboard and now I see this. Missing illusionist sought in affair of missing assistant. Scotland Yard is searching for noted illusionist Mr. Uh, Arthur Iliscu, Iliscu or something like that in connection with the disappearance of his magician's assistant Miss Aurora Rose, late of Chipping uh, Norton. Miss Rose was last seen on stage at a Baker Street theater during Mr. I'm not going to even try, famous illusion act, uh, is well known for making his pretty assistants disappear and reappear. On the evening of October 28th, however, he had neglected to fulfill the second part of his act. Detained by police, you know, he proclaimed his own bafflement at Miss Rose's failure to return to the stage to promote his apparendi. She's supposed to vanish into thin air, stated, he stated, uh, but she's supposed to come back. Police inspector Gauss Lestrade, uh, yeah, Lestrade determined no signs of foul play. Indeed, police found no sign whatsoever of the continued physical existence of Miss Rose on, the more, on this mortal plane. He was released from custody on Thursday. Now it would appear that he too has gone missing. His performances at the Baker Street have... Oop, hello there. <laughs> thank you for the follow. Ryan Land... Uh, Ryan Landon 555. Thank, thank you for the follow. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the show. And let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, have been cancelled. And his hotel, the Blackstone, has not seen him since shortly after his release. His belongings remain in his room, and mysteriously, the maids report that some of his clothes have been displaced by a party or parties unknown. Persons in possession of information in regards to the whereabouts of him or of Miss Rose are requested to inform the yard. Okay, I'm hearing. A, I heard a second jingle there, but I didn't see a pop yeah. up. Okay. Yeah, another two. What the heck? Whoa, hello, Illisku family tree. Let's see, Octavian, Carsten, Vincenzo, Catherine Melanchai, Dee Dee Melanchai. Yeah, wait. They're related to this vanishing illusionist. Yeah. No. Admitted to asylum. Okay. I wonder. What is Dawn's place in this? Is she. Let's hmm. see. Lecture by Dr. William James, professor of psychology at Harvard University. Author of the. The, 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 the the astronomically visible universe is what one vis the one possibility. Other universes may exist at parallel our own. The set of all possible universes is the multiverse. What significance does the multiverse hold for epistemology and eschatology? I have no idea what either of those are. <laughs> uh, do new universes spring into existence as a consequence of free will? Can entities cross over between parallel universes? Dr. James will also detail his investigations into the multiverse via mystical experiences and experiments with nitrous oxide and peyote. <laughs> peyote? That, that, is a, that is a very, very strong hallucinogenic, I'm pretty sure. So I don't think you'll be seeing... Well, you'll be seeing different universes, but not actual ones. <laughs> uh. Okay... Okay, so me seeing a shadow run was not too far off then? Yep. Okay, yeah, I thought so. This opens up the shutters, but they also close very quickly. Yeah, uh, but just correct I don't see that this is a shadow run. Just. But in the right, somewhat right direction that it is uh, some sort of alternate realm. Yeah. Uh, I want to make a joke with that uh, Jimmy Neutron dad meme with going to the shadow, uh, sending you to the shadow realm, Jimbo, but I can't actually think of a way to make it work. Okay, someone likes their alcohol, but then again, it's the 20s. Who doesn't? Yeah. Oh, Jimmy no Neutron, that show. Uh, I didn't like that show, actually. No? Oh. I. I think it was more sure due to it being the, you know, extremely early CGI. 
Okay, it can, one uh, or the other can be open. It kind of put me off, and as, as well, there was a lot of humor that did not stick uh, well with me at all. Okay, picture projecting skeleton to, uh, to a shadow. I haven't seen it completely, but I have seen enough to get a decent liking of it at least. And it is early CGI, but it, it still works, I'd say. In the science picture, we're missing two here. Or actually, we're missing three things, but I don't think we're going to find this one anytime soon. Yeah, everything was in order until this chapter. Yeah. One or the other can be active here. Yeah. Now, where can we but get with all of this? I'm not, like, I feel like we're getting to know a lot. But there is one big mystery remaining. Dawn. Yeah. Where she fit in here? For, I hope expected her name to appear on the board almost, but... Hmm. Uh. Uh, Exposition mm. Universale 1900s. In demonstration, pratique the universal menu plus. Plus, uh, a part less celebré, illusionistre Vincenzo, Doctor and Sciences Physique. Yeah, pretty, I think I got most of the pronunciation correct there, but I think that translates to a, a practical demonstration of the multiverse uh, by the celebrated illusionist Vincenzo, Doctor of si Physical Sciences. Uh, and uh, I think we know now where Dawn fits in. Uh, yeah, I was to guess if she was uh, one of my early guesses I forgot due to there was so much going on was to guess if she was her, his assistant or relative, but um yeah according to the text I do that yeah not the same that she's is his assistant or not. It's, it's another shadow without a person there. And yeah, other pictures of shadows. Let's see, we need to get a crate up here. But where do we get one? Also, how do we get it up here? Down here? Okay, no. Okay, no, Christian is... There it is. Did he... Do something to her doing an experiment? Well, it does certainly answer one question of yours that he isn't a wizard, but he is a techno mage, you could say. Yeah, techno mage, artificer, something like that. Like, he has mis like qualities, just. He is using a big mix of science and magic almost. This needs to be active. We need this box in there. Hmm. Okay, this is a bit... Wait, can we just... Nope. We can't bust that down. We need this one active for all of this. And I think we're actually stuck here now. Unless... Wait, really? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. You, Box are you telling me you did? Door. <laughs> okay then. I was to ask you, how are you stuck? The doors open. And then the door opened. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Can't bring it in because of this little. Annoying piece. <clears throat> Actually, same trick as before. So we just put this thing in the shadow. We don't jump off the lighthouse. Okay, luckily at checkpoints. And it's still there. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, bloody heck. Oh, it doesn't want to go any further than that. Okay, luckily it respawns. For a moment I thought we lost it to the abyss there. 
Yeah, I got yeah. a word for that too. Um, I suspect the developers would have thought of that. Okay. I think we have to need... I think we need to use the second one up here. Let's see. Yeah, this should have the angle. Hmm. Not really. Bloody heck, I feel weak. Hey. Oh, bloody heck, what I suppose to hey. Blood rush will probably be a bit extreme calling it, just. Uh... I played a game earlier and just unlocked a new character, just having so much fun with them in the carnage. That it is. Metaphorical blood rush, I guess you could say. Adrenaline high. Yeah, maybe not high, but yeah, adrenaline's pumping in a good way. It, 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 you're funny. You just feel very satisfied. Yes, yes, go. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm missing how exactly we need to do this. We need this one active. We need to move it from from light to light, but I don't see a way of getting it up through this. Since, well, if we try to move it with this spotlight, it doesn't go high enough. And we can't just walk up the wall. Hmm. If we turn it to there, we can't jump with the box, so we can't actually get on the shadow here. Oh, now I, now I think I remember what it's called. Adrenaline rush, not adrenaline high. Yeah. Let's see. That is as much as we are going to get. Am I just being completely blind with something here? Or is there a reason why there's this little area here? Nope, can't just try and get into the shadow like that. Hmm. Oh dear. Okay, it is just leaving me a bit stumped at the moment. So oh, yeah. we turn off the lights. I don't know. I hope I'm using Adrenaline Rush correctly for. Adrenaline Rush is not unhealthy, is it? No. Too much right. of it? Over long term uh, periods of time, yes, but short, no. All right. Mm. I am missing something or overlooking something. Not the hop scotch the lights across. Nothing that can be activated here. Hmm. It is much too wide for us to get it up there. Actually. Hmm. Put it down there for the moment. And let's see how high we can get it. Not high enough. Oop. There we go. It's been staring us in the face the entire time. Uh, focus the light. Oh, follow. I, I, I didn't think of that. Okay. Put you down over here. This wall has a side that just does not show shadows. Hold on a second. Mm. Here we go. Uh, yeah, a little wound on my face opened up, and it's <clears throat> it's not bleeding, but it is. Uh, yeah, 
a bit leaky. I'll say no more of it to avoid squeaking out someone. Uh, I may be eating, but I heard worse. I have been able to watch horror movies without issue while eating. There we go. Except when it involves eyes. Hmm. It isn't bleeding. I'll I'll say that. Let's see. As long as you're not in tremendous pain. Yeah, the biggest source of pain I'd have at the moment is that stupid tooth that the dentist possibly ruined. It's possibly ruined. What the? No. Okay. Why did the mouse escape the game there? Uh, yeah, I forgot to talk about this yesterday, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, yeah, I I was going in for a filling. I came out with two. And apparently there are more cavities that I have. Though I'm going to check with the main dentist that we have for a second opinion on those. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, I missed the rope there. Then I missed the floor there. Hmm. <clears throat> So you're telling me you fear that one of the dentists did a As butchered job? Yeah, either the, either two of them actually missed a lot of things, or yep, either two of them missed a bunch of stuff, or the other one, yeah, wasn't being completely truthful, and just did a lot more work on a a molar than was needed. After a few days, the princess got to wondering. Why did I get trying to give her away? <laughs> Stop me. <laughs> there we go. Apparently, Didi's hair is very smooth. But, yeah. Uh, I, I guess you could say I'm still recovering uh, from it. But I don't think I'll be able to chew on the right side of my mouth anymore. Yeah, not at least until it's properly healed. Unless, oh dear, if they really wrecked it, yeah, that's something you can sue them for. Yeah. What is going on? And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Vincenzo's Theater of the Unreal. I got the lights on. We'll talk about this after. Ladies and gentlemen, a physicist named Albert Einstein tells us that our universe may not be the only one. There may be infinite others, each slightly different from ours. But our dreams in our world may be reality in those. To citizens of these other worlds, we are shadows. This appears to you to be an ordinary box, but it is actually what we call a tesseract or an octocoron. Suppose I open it, not in the three dimensions we live in, but along its fourth dimension. I can take out surprising things, things that are familiar 
and yet strange. But in this world of shadows, what seems familiar may be dangerous. What you don't know can hurt you. But what frightens you can also turn into something of surpassing beauty, if you only understand it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. To Jordan. You're up to something, aren't you? I tried, Kat. I really tried. And Mom was right. I made a lot of promises I couldn't keep. What is with you? Without you, I'd be in the river. But it worked out, Daddy. I nearly got you hurt, kiddo. You would have saved me if I needed it. Dealing means well, but... Enjoy the show? I want you to meet the little girl who turned the lights back on. You made the lighthouse work? I fixed the puppet show, too. And the pirate ship. You fixed the pirate ship? It was only a little broken. See? She's almost as smart as you. Of course, she's brave, too. What's that supposed to mean? That you're rich, famous, and afraid of a little girl. What would you have me do, Mr. Fenris? Take her on my world tour? Take her to Shanghai and Istanbul and those other filthy and dangerous cities as some sort of apprentice? Is, is that what you came here to propose? Daddy, I, no. no! I don't know, just... Dee Dee deserves better. They both deserve better. They need you. I think they need you. Me? I'm a walking calamity. No, Daddy, we You need risked you. your life to be with them. Johnny, what did you do? He nearly got himself killed to get you back. I wouldn't do that for anybody. But I'm just gonna keep screwing up. I can help you fix things. Would you take me back? For good? Oh, Johnny. Yay! Would you like to see my workshop? Again? Yeah. I bet you get to Shanghai on your own steam. But how? Oh, you'll figure something out. After all, you are my daughter. How'd you do that? I thought only John could do that. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Thanks for taking care of Dee Dee. Uh that's it? Yeah. Well, we were done in half an hour, so we can clever have a bunk okay, but... Come on! Yeah, I, I did have a feeling it was only about half an hour left, but yeah, better safe than... <laughs> better safe than stuck in the Shadow Realm. Yeah. I don't know. Is it weird that this almost feel like a cliffhanger? Uh, I'd say it's open-ended. There could be a lot more to follow after this, like what if Didi, when Didi grows up and starts getting into the sciences and such herself. Yeah. Here we have the voice actors. Vincenzo and Carmine is Vincenzo and the, and the Mafia are the same voice actor. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Okay. And also, I kind of hope there will be a sequel for this one. Yeah, if not a direct sequel, then maybe a spiritual sequel that basically takes the uh, mechanics and such and refines them. Like, this wasn't yeah, a big studio or anything, I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah, or at least something in the same year it was like... I wonder... We know Dee story. But how did Dawn get into this besides being the apprentice? Now, I'm guessing that Dawn is Rose. That's, yeah, he got her stuck between dimensions somehow. And yeah, she's been... I don't think Didi is 20 years old. So she's probably had her own adventures before coming across uh, Didi and her family. So that could be an interesting thing to look into. Yeah, uh, for you can yeah. wonder how did he find Didi? And why did he decide to basically be... Um, Shadow Nanny? <laughs> that would be one way. A guardian, you could say. Uh, I'm get my guess is that uh, after she got stuck, well, they had a good long period of freaking the fuck out of get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here, that she just followed Vincenzo around and, yeah, got witness, <clears throat> was witness to uh, whatever trysts she had or relationships she had, uh, he had with Kath. And, yeah, saw the foul out of that, saw him run off, and decided to clean up his mess. Yeah, possibly. And also he's realized, we did not hear Dodd speak one word. Yeah, she also didn't have a voice actor. Not even any grunts or anything. <laughs> yeah, they, they kind of almost make her way more mysterious, like... She, sure, she might be mute, or something happened that made her lose her voice. But we get no indication of anything. Okay. Well, yeah. I I would definitely would like to see more of uh, this sort of mechanic and slash world. Uh, let me actually double check when this came out. I think it is a decently old game by now. Uh, let's see. Library... Contrast, and then the store page. Let's see. Okay, 2013. So it is about 10 years old. A bit less, but still. <clears throat> because it came out in November. Uh, but we have seen bigger time differences between sequels. So it, it, this wasn't a big hit or anything. I, so I don't think we would ever see a sequel, but it would be a nice little thing to see. Yeah, no. See, we can investigate that later for... Due to it being a small title, there might be a few without you knowing. Could be. I could see... Yeah, I could look up what other stuff the developers and such have made. Actually, I'm going to keep this open on the background, so I don't forget that. Okay, there we go. For now, though, uh, we will end the recording or we will cut the recording here and start up in a second again and then we'll move on to the second game that to the backup game that i had planned and uh yeah anyone who was just here just for contrast thank you all again for yeah, thank, yeah, thank you for watching and until next time be safe everyone